So far our project is working fine, it is functionally correct, but doesn't look very fancy because it doesn't have any music, the background is dull. So in this uh, session we are going to add background music as well as the background texture uh, to this game. For this what we'll do is whenever snake is eating an apple we'll play some music like ding or something. When the snake collides with itself we'll play another music and then in the background also we'll keep on playing some music. So first let's take a uh, snake eating apple scenario. So you need a short a music clip first of all. So for that I did some Google found this nice website free sounds library which has this ding sound. So see if you play this ding sound. See? Chin. So we'll play that uh, when snake eat apple. So in the resources directory I downloaded that file. So see ding.mp3 and for collision crash so when it collides with itself, we'll, we'll play this music, okay? Now when you do Google on Pygame, Pygame play sound, you'll find this class in Pygame called Mixture, which has a sound element to it, okay? So we'll be using Pygame Mixture for playing music. And in that, you first need to do pygame.mixture.init. So let's do that. It will initialize the Mixture module. So let me just first go into my meditative zen mode. All right, so no distraction now. You go away, buddy. All right, so here in the init, I will say pygame.mixture.init. So my sound module is initialized. Now, when I have a collision, or let's say, yeah, when a snake eat apple, I want to play the music. So how do you play that? So you will just say simply pygame dot mixture dot sound. Okay. And in the sound, you will use resources. I uh, will use ding music. And let's store this in a variable called sound. And then you can just say pygame dot mixture dot sound dot play. So that plays the sound. So I will right click, run it. See, when snake hits apple, it will play the music. See, listen carefully. See, ting. Okay. And when it collides, you'll be playing the crash music. So here, I'll just say crash. So let's taste that as well. So ting guys working okay. See? Your game is over, your score is three. So that sound that you just saw. Now, whenever in your big program, you find that you are repeating the lines of code, it's better to put them in a function. Here, between these two line and these two line, the only difference is this, uh, name of the sound. So what I can do is I can put these two into a function called play sound let's say you know and we can supply the name of the sound as well actually. So here see here I can do self dot play sound but I, I need to tell this function that it needs to play ding. So I will just say ding here which I can get that as an input sound. And here, I can maybe convert it to Python format string. And here, if you have sound variable, so whatever you pass here, it will try to load that .mp3 file. So here in this case, it will be crash. Okay. And now tomorrow if you want to play 10 more sounds you just call that function with the name of the file if you don't want to use name of the file then you can just check here like if sound is equal to ding then that's your file okay all right so you can run it it will work okay now i want to play background music as well while the game is being played you know you want to hear nice music so i have downloaded this background music from 
YouTube audio library. So that music I will play in the background. So again, I will define a function called play background music here. In here, I will be playing that music. So now this time, instead of sound, I will use music. So the difference between the music and sound is that sound is just one time like ding or crash. Music is like a long music, which you use generally as a background music. And resources. Okay. And then by game dot make sure dot music dot play. So that will play the music and you want to call this function. When the game starts right there itself you want to start playing the music okay so okay. initially there was one or two second pause because the game itself the music itself has a pause okay now once this is done what you want to do is see when the the game pauses for example when you hit like when you hit snake body okay you want to stop the music so let me show you what i mean see music is still playing i want to stop music and when you restart then maybe start the music so when you have game over scenario here game over right here during this time maybe i can call uh pi game dot mixture dot music dot pause so th it has a nice method called pause so it will just pause the background music okay and uh you want to resume it when user hits enter so when this is when you are unpausing it so here you can say by game dot make sure dot music dot unpause okay and now it will pause and pause easily the music stop now and when you start again it will uh, restart the music again now I want to change the background of our game. So for that, I have downloaded this nice texture. So this looks like a, you know, grass field on which snake is moving around. So I will set this as a background in our game. So for this purpose, I will here define a new function for render background, you know, and you know, like, like image you can load easily by calling pygame dot image dot load and here you can load this background image and if you want to show this image you know that there you have to use this blit function okay so pygame dot actually self where you specify where you want to draw the image on your surface and X and Y. So we want to render this background from zero, zero corner all the way, right? Now this background size is actually, you see 1920 by 1080 and our window size is 1000 by 800. So it will work okay. Now this render background, I will do, um, why should I call this function? You know what? We are doing this background color. So wherever you are calling this function, you have to replace that with render background. So here, self dot. Okay, now this is, wait. So this is different class actually. So here you're drawing it, right? So you're drawing snake. So where do I, where do I draw snake here? Mm, here yes here so here i have to say render background 
because you draw apple and everything so just before that you have to render the background okay where else did we use oh show game over so here also self dot render background so now see nice background you know it looks looks pretty good so you can play with the background the apple image the score fonts and make your game little more fancy the code for this entire project is available here i have python projects directory where i will be uploading more python projects so please keep an eye uh right now it's just one project snake game and if you go to that project by clicking here by the way my next project is going to be document tax extension using ocr and there'll be different projects that i'll be covering but for this project i have an exercise for you so if you scroll down the exercise is whenever snake hits the left or right or bottom boundary or top boundary you want to exit the game okay so game should remain in the field if it goes out of the field then game is over so you need to add that logic second thing you need to do is increase the game speed you know in the game whenever you go to next level the challenge the difficulty level increases so that's what you're trying to do here once you develop your own solution then you can click on my solution by clicking on this link but please try to work on your own first before you click on this solution in the next session i will show you how you can convert this python file into dot exe file something that you can hand it over to your friend and your friend can just run that uh, exe and play the game all right so that's what we'll cover in the next session